Okay, what we have here is a VW Jetta. Back to good quality German engineering here. Well, at least I think they're made by the Germans these days. First impressions of this vehicle. Uh, this one is an automatic. The transition from gear to gear seems to be quite okay. Maybe a little bit jerky to start off with. It's nowhere near as bad as like the French cars, particularly the Peugeots. The dashboard is very, um, very solid looking, even though it's all plastic. It's it really, really, really looks quite good. I think the Americans could learn a lot from these dashboards. All the instruments, very basic. They've kept it down as simple as they possibly could. It's very well thought out. There's nothing confusing about this at all. Three knobs here, two knobs here, your on screen, uh, dashboard, etc. etc. The dials on the dash are very clear, very precise, and visible, which is more important than anything else. So many cars I get into and you just cannot see the dials. These dials are very, very clear, very, very precise. All round visibility of the car, well, I have to say the rear view mirror looks a little bit obstructed and it looks like something in the, looks like the rear shelf seems to stick up a lot. So you don't have a lot of window basically in the rear view mirror. The side mirrors are at a perfect height, they're not too low. You might actually be able to get away with them being a little bit higher, but I'm not having to make too much head movement to actually see, get to the mirrors. Really, at the end of the day, you want mirrors that you can look at without having to move your face. The brakes on this do feel like they're um, sending me back a bit of a, a bit of a wobble actually. They don't feel quite as nice and precise as you might expect with something like a Mercedes or even a BMW. If anything, I would say they're possibly a little bit grabby, which is not a good thing. I find while sitting in this car that I am higher than the windscreen and I'm actually looking down through the windscreen. Now, one advantage to that is if you drive a car which has an enormous windscreen like a lot of the modern Citroëns, when you get hit by the sun, the whole of the windscreen becomes one big blinding light. Even with the sun blinds down, it can be a real issue. This car feels like um, it, it, feel, it feels like it's, it's put together very, very solid. It feels to me as if it's built to last. The sort of car that if you bought, you'd expect it to still be running in 15 years time. It doesn't look like any bits are going to fall off. The dials on this dashboard here are clear and precise. There's no confusing logos or lights or colors in the system. You've got a black dial, you've got white digits, and you've got a red uh, needle very very quick to read what's going on. Seats, although they feel industrial, which is probably a good sign of uh, quality with terms with relation to their wearability, the seats are quite hard but I feel like I'm in a driver's seat but if I could say anything about the seats I'd say they feel a bit narrow around the back but this isn't a sports model, so I don't think we need to worry about that. The interior of the car is very nicely put together. Even though there's a lot of plastic, being a dark colour, it seems to feel more like a quality vehicle. feedback I get from the road, if I could say anything at all, I would say it's a little bit bumpy. The shocks don't feel particularly, they don't really feel like they're doing a good job. 0 to 60 now.
and we're at 16 now so we're obviously not dealing with a fast car here but this is an ideal family car the steering actually feels rather light um, not that it's a problem to drive but I think we're dealing with a front wheel drive car here and it feels a little bit airy almost like there's a little bit of a lag in the actual turning I would prefer the steering to be more more in tune with the actual road I kind of feel like if I went over a bump now the steering wheel would actually be turned by the wheels which is not a nice feeling it's, it's very loose suspension is actually very nice very nice indeed you don't get that boating effect that you might associate with certain vehicles especially the the, uh, the Citroens a lot of noise on the road to be honest it's even though the top half of the car feels like it's very well put together I do feel like I'm driving down the road and I've got perforations in the floor pan I'm very aware of what I drive over it does seem to be a lot of noise coming from the transmission tunnel. This is a new vehicle. Um, so I think if this was my vehicle I'd be looking at changing the shocks. It's not that it's a, a hard ride, it's just I'm... It's too noisy. It's just way too noisy. I think this would become an issue, especially if you're driving down something like cobbled roads. I mean in any car it's a nightmare, but... I don't want to hear all that when I'm driving along. The transmission did feel very jerky at first when I pulled off, but as you drive along, yeah, see it's a bit jerky then, going to second, but once you get into the higher gears, it's actually very pleasant. As I say, the braking is a little bit grabby. It's either on or it's off. But, I would say all around, the car is very well put together, it feels solid, and it feels like a quality vehicle. It's an attractive, attractive looking vehicle, inside and out. It doesn't have a cheap, tacky feel to it, which I seem to come across in a lot of modern Fords. It's not designed to be a luxury car, this, but it's certainly a quality vehicle. Everything has been well thought out, it's well designed, and I think if you were to buy one of these, it would serve you for a long time. You see, as I'm driving down now, I'm doing 50 miles an hour. I don't actually hear the engine, I hear the road beneath me. So I think maybe there could have been some more soundproofing in the floor pan and I don't get that in a lot of cars so that's one of the reasons why my attention's on it now but all in all this is a very good car and if you're in a position to buy one I don't think you're going to go wrong at all